What you're about to see is deeply disturbing. A man secretly films a woman from behind. He follows her onto a train. Seconds later, he sexually abuses her. But it's not just this one video. There are thousands of them, all for sale online. This is a horrific business making huge profits from sexual assaults targeting women across East Asia. BBC Eye takes you inside this dark world. We meet the women who are fighting back and expose the identities of the men cashing in on sexual violence. We are on the hunt for sexual assaulters. I'm Zhao Yingfeng, a reporter for the BBC. And this all started with a Chinese language website. The website is called Ding Bu Zhu. It's full of sexually explicit videos with shocking descriptions. Thousands of them, all for sale. Many of them are filmed on the metro in China. Some are on buses. Others on escalators and in shopping malls. All follow the same pattern. A man films and stalks his female target from behind. He gets his genitals out and rubs them against her body. Some men even ejaculate on their victim's clothes or hair. You can also order your own tailor-made abuse on the website. But it's not just mainland China. Some videos are shot in Hong Kong, Taiwan, South Korea and Japan. And it's not just one website. Ding Buju links to two others, Jieshu and Chihan. There's also a telegram group with 4,000 members who share tips on how to sexually abuse women. But who is behind the websites? As we delve deeper into this sick world, one name keeps coming up. Uncle Chi. He's held as the guru of this community. But who is he? And where can he be? An admin posted these photos on the Telegram group and claimed he abused a woman with Uncle Chi. The location looks like a metro station, and within hours, we get a match. In Tokyo, Ikebukuro Station. I初めて地下にあったのは高校に入学して2日目の時でした。とても混んでいる電車だったんですけど、電車の揺れに。手がぶつかるような、だんだん触るような、掴まれるような感覚がしてきて、そこでやっとはこれが時間なんだっていうふうに気づきました。当時は15歳でした。ほぼ毎日のように時間にやってました。戦う気持ちがとてもその自尊心
where customers can pay to enjoy the Chikan experience legally. ラジオはと申します。停電車の中でお客さんが女の子に痴漢をするよというコンセプトで女のお客さんに。そしたら、えっと、ま、お部屋の中はリアルな電車内を再現していて、ま、釣り革があったり、あと座席があったり、あとプ
and sex. Ian asks about business opportunities in Japan's sex industry. And Noctis introduces him to someone who is well connected, a name we're familiar with. Lupus Fu, the band's basis. Ian sets up a meeting with them. Pong 啊, what these guys find funny here is a huge breakthrough for us. We now have a name for the person behind Ding Buju, Maomi. But could he be Uncle Chi? To get closer to Maomi, Ian meets Noctis and Lupus again. They are joined by a friend. Mommy 对我现在算是极少数，他比较放心的人吧。At the end of the meeting, Ian asks Lupus to connect him to Maomi. On Chinese New Year's Eve, Ian gets a message from Maomi's assistant. He sent an address for a karaoke club. Ian gets straight to business. So Uncle Chi, the person we've been looking for, turns out to be a 27-year-old man that looks like a college student. He shows off his Twitter account, where he openly promotes his sexual abuse videos. This is the man who's built a business out of sexually assaulting women. Do you have any message for them? あなたにとって女性って何ですかって聞いてみたいです。それはあなたの母親とか家族でも同じなんですか？大事な人はいないんですか？ It's time to confront Maomi and put our allegations to him. Mommy, 指示他人拍攝
你有冇谂过你呢啲影片里面嘅女性，佢哋受到几大嘅伤害啊？你有冇说话想同呢啲受害者讲啊？你系为咗钱做呢件事啊，定系你享受去侵害呢啲女性啊？喂喂 ，OK。Go go 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 we go we go we go we go. Get in get in get in. Everyone say. This is insane. Mommy just chase us. This is crazy. We put our allegations to him. His only response is silence, and then violence. But I think he has plenty to think about right now. と実は私自身子供の頃から何度も痴漢にあってます。初めて痴漢にあったのは8歳の時でした。私今57歳だから本当に50年前に助けを求めて誰かこんな社会を変えてくれっていうことができていたら今の子供たちは痴漢にあって